Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden, Staff Commander Olenko, wasn't it? Another reminder of how I lost more than two years. I don't need this garbage. Right. Understood, Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, Grunt is... not a stabilizing element, Commander. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone, like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spread it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything is going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. Joker. Right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. 
This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. How was Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Let's discuss something else. Ready. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. <laughs>